I'm What Bexos. Welcome back to my channel if you're a subscriber and welcome if you're new. My channel is where I share my sewing journey with you. So today we're going to have a conversation and discuss my Friday pattern company Westcliff Makes. <laughs> So, I know it's been a little while, guys. It's been a bit hectic for me. Um, and life should be a little bit easier now. All the equipment that I've had in work might have calmed down a little bit. I say might because they still could potentially flare back up. And my kids are on school holidays, which actually, for me, makes life a little bit easier. So, today's vlog is going to be about my Friday pattern company, West Cliff, West Cliff Dress Makes. So the Friday Pattern Company Westcliff dress is a dress that can be either a, a knee length dress or it can be sort of a maxi or where it's actually midi version, but the version that I did, I've altered to make maxi. Um, it's a faux wrap dress made in a knit or cotton jersey stretch fabric. Now, the reason I've chosen to do my pattern review and my repeat makes are as this dress rather than doing the Tilly and Buttons Lotta review, um, which I know was requested, was purely because I did a, uh, did a woven uh, pattern last time. I wanted to do a cotton pattern, a cotton, a jersey pattern this time. And next time, the idea is to do the Lotta, which can be either woven or jersey so i've kind of got this little sequence in my head that i know how it's going to go um that uh, in the way that i want to do it with my content and stuff so hopefully you guys won't be too disappointed and you will actually like seeing this um unfortunately normally or in the previous one i would actually put them on and sport them for you but given the fact that my bedroom is a bit of a pigsty at the moment i didn't really have the space to do that so what i have done is i have got footage or um, I've filmed a little, me doing a little catwalk for you, spinning around, giving you a bit of a better view at the dresses that I have made. So I will pop on the screen for you the pattern sizes. Now this dress doesn't go up to, I don't believe, um, the full um, 7XL, I think, which is the largest range, which is usually done by um pattern company uh, friday pattern company um i believe it goes up to 4xl but i'll pop the um the sizing in here so you can see it and i'll also pop the line drawings of this dress in here so you can see that too so i've made three versions of this and one of them i have made a maxi version which is the one i'm currently wearing um and then i have made two knee length versions but there is a difference between those two as well so let's start with the one that i'm wearing this is my absolute favorite um dress to wear full stop um it's probably the most me made worn dress that i own um because of the fabric choice more than anything else. Now I got this fabric from Dutes Design in Australia and had it shipped over here and I got three meters of it. It's a gorgeous fabric to actually wear. It's very, very comfortable. Um, it was amazing to sew with. Um, it really came together really well. It, was, it wasn't tricky to work with. It's not too thick, it's not too thin. I believe it's a cotton jersey of some sort. Um, I wear this to work as well. I wouldn't wear it if I was interviewing at work, but I certainly wear it to work um, because it's my personality in a nutshell, to be perfectly honest with you. So yeah, I, I highly rate this fabric. I highly rate Dupes Designs and I absolutely love this pattern. So um, let's get started. I'll put the film footage in of me doing my little catwalk for you and also a couple of pictures. So what I've done with this one is um, because it comes in two different cup sizes and I'll talk about them on my very um, last one that I show you because I've actually made this in the smaller cup sizes whereas I've made another version in a larger one and I, I didn't like how um, it sat on here whereas I prefer the way that this one actually sits across my chest um, although when I bend over you can't see anything um, I just prefer how this one sits on my chest so I went for the smaller cup size even though I fall into the larger cup size um, it's got some lovely gathering detail across here 
Um, and the rest of it, to be fair, you can pretty much sew up on your sewing machine apart from the gathering stitches. Now, as I said um, earlier, you can. this comes in a midi version. Now, what I've done is I have the very last layer of the last ruffle or the ruffle that you add on. It's not the last one, but it's the last layer of the dress. Um, I doubled that in size um, because I wanted to have a full length dress. So you can see from the video footage, the way that I can walk around in it, I feel lovely and comfortable um, and I can get away with not shaving my legs. And believe me, that's important come the end of the week. It's comfortable and I can just chuck it on and nobody knows. Um, anyway, sorry to overshare there. Um, so that is my absolute favourite make. It was my second time I attempted to make this dress. It is a very much beginner friendly dress with stretch fabric um, and I do highly recommend it. And I do really like the effect of um, giving it a longer layer at the bottom. I think it just looks really nice. And like I said, I, I can wear this to work. This is a, a work dress, even though it is loud, it's a very Becky dress. So I'm quite happy with it. So the next dress that I've made is my red viscose jersey version. So I'll pop the video footage in as I'm talking about this. Now I made this one up very quickly. I think it took me a couple of hours, if that. Um, made it up one evening. I had just taken my, stripped my hair back, which went to ginger initially. And then if I, I don't know if you can see, my hair's a bit greasy at the moment, sorry guys. Um, but it's kind of gone back to this ready tone. So I'd stripped it to ginger and I sat there and thought, right, I'm going back to a ready colour. And um, I want a red dress and some red lipstick to wear with this. I'll actually pop in the picture um, on that I posted on Instagram because that was very much the look I was going for. I wanted a bit of a head to toe red. Um, now... This viscose jersey, I got the fabric from Rachel um, from Stitch Dub's D-Stash account. And it was just, it, it's beautiful fabric. It was so soft. It was a viscose jersey, if I remember rightly. And um, it does give a different look to the dress. It's certainly a drapier feel to the dress. This one that I'm wearing right now definitely has that little bit more structure to it. Whereas I think this would have actually been nice if I'd had enough fabric to have made it into the maxi version because it would have had that beautiful drape that um, it gives on the shorter version. Those of you that have been watching me for a little while know that I've been trying to increase my work wardrobe. And my reason for making this dress is perfect for work. It's smart as well. That one I would wear for interviews. Um, I just thought, you know, it's it's great. I'm going to make it and I'm going to make it knee length. It's, it's the perfect thing for work. The colour is right. Um, again, it's still got the vibrance of a Becky fabric. So, yes, that was my second make. My last Friday Pattern Company make that I have made was the very first one that I actually made, which was back in winter. And I popped on my Instagram a choice between fabrics for this particular pattern. And this polka dot fabric was the one that came out on top, which was great. And I went with it because that's what I'd asked for a vote. And I, and I loved the fabric. It could have gone either way. Again, I was making the dress for work, but there wasn't enough. I didn't want to do the bottom layer, but there wasn't enough to bring the sleeves right down. So this ordinarily comes as a t-shirt. This is actually the sleeve length that it comes with. Um, and what I really wanted to do was have a long sleeve because obviously at the time I made it, it was winter um, and I would have just extended that further. I have extended it. It's, it is a three quarter length sleeve um, and I think it looks really nice. But the only problem that I've got with this dress, and I don't know if you can tell from the way that I'm wearing this one and have worn the other two. But because I made the slightly larger cup size, the large yoke, it sits like that on me. And actually, I think that is less flattering for my bust than just, sorry, I don't mean to splash my cleavage, than just having it there. I think it, it makes my bust actually look bigger by having that kind of a, effect to it. So I prefer having the longer neckline, um, which makes my bust look less in your face. Um, so... I don't actually get a lot of wear out of this one, which is a shame because actually the fabric itself is fabulous for work. Um, and I'm not going to unpick it all and, and redo it. I will I will wear it. I will wear it come winter again because I do like this style dress. 
Um, but yeah, that was that one. And I think that was a polyester type stretch fabric. Um, I got it from one of the remnants bins at Neil's Fabrics in Milton Keynes. They've got all these big bins of like five for five meters. And there's some beautiful fabrics in there. And when I saw that, I was very conscious that it was my work wardrobe that I wanted to improve. And I can see more of these dresses in my wardrobe. Um, I think I'd actually like to make a couple of casual ones and maybe not even put the sleeve on at all. So it's a strapless dress. I think that would actually look really um, smart, um, not smart, but nice from a casual point of view as a way of wearing the dress um, when I'm out. But I do think there's lots of things that we can do with this dress. There's lots of different variations. I was making another one up the other day in this stunning fabric. Um, I'm sorry, I was looking around my living room because I didn't know if the one that I'd done wrong was in here. Um, and it's not. Um, and that one was to have a slightly different bottom to it. But what I ended up doing in the process of doing that, it was the midi version. So it was the, just the normal length ruffle. Um, and what I ended up doing with that was I was completely distracted. It was the day that we were in the hottest weather and I had um, literally got um, the skirt back to front so i sewed the bit that goes out like that to so the bottom bit in to my bust line and then sewed the bottom bit in to the ruffle at the bottom and what i ended up doing was looking like this with a bit of a ruffle it was awful it just enhanced all my bad parts so that one i i wasn't going to unpick it wasn't an expensive fabric i was using it just went straight in the bin. So no matter how straightforward it is, if, you, if you're distracted, you can ruin it. But I can see lots of ways of hacking this dress in, in certain ways. Um, there's a top version to this, which I haven't actually made. And at the moment, I am looking at um, some two-piece outfits because I've got quite a few dresses now. Um, so I'm thinking that I might have a go at this as a top version and see how I feel that um, looks on me although I get the top version when I look at the pattern and I look at the uh, line drawings in it the actual top version reminds me of the tops I used to wear back in the 90s um, so there's an element of it that I'm put off with but I also know it's quite a flattering shape on me and it's a flattering style on me so that is my Friday Pattern Company Westcliff dress collection that I have made have you guys made any? Let me know. I would love to hear your comments. Um, I really enjoy reading through them and um, I really enjoy just responding. But I know this is a this is a dress that I feel when I when I look on Instagram, I don't actually have a huge amount of inspiration. Um, I, I don't know whether it's just me and I'm just not seeing it, but I feel like this dress does not get the justice that it's deserved. Um, I don't see enough of them about. And particularly as we've gone back into the summer where you'd expect to see a few more cropping up, I'm not seeing them. Uh, Liz, the baker that sews, loves this dress. Um, and I recommend if you don't already, and I'm sure you do if you're watching me, you're gonna watch her and subscribe to her, going over and having a look, because she's got quite a few. And uh, she was my inspiration to buy the pattern. So yeah, she's got some great ones and they're all in her quirky style as well um which I absolutely adore by the way anyway right I think I'm gonna wrap up there because I've waffled on long enough at you um but I thought I'd better get some content out there the next video that I'll be sharing with you will be of course my July makes and oh my god I've had a busy month I'm starting to think I might have to split that video into two um so Sojo is definitely there in spades at the moment have a fantastic weekend guys Happy sewing and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.